Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a short one. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what you can do with porcelain air dry clay. And what I did when I uh, made this bird is I took an item that had a pattern on it and I pushed it onto the clay. Now I wanted more like here you can see uh, the pattern didn't do well. It didn't didn't show through. So what do you do in that case? Well I got to thinking what do you do? I came up with this a and on here you can see them the little uh, the little drawn on flowers all through here are from me. Yeah, and then right in here. And I was fixing to do just maybe a few here. And fi but that I want to show you what to do if you do what I just did and get a bad result. <coughs> One of these little uh, tools. They, they come, they came, what, let's see here. Hey, Bella. Bella's getting a bark for us. What'd you hear? Uh, they come with four pin, uh, four pins. Four, I want to, they're rolling. I use them to roll on the wet clay. I use them to make, um, uh, lines and so forth when when the clay is wet but I have discovered when the clay is dry I can also use them and there's one that has an awesome small small little point I don't know if you can see it or not I'm hoping you can I guess it'd be this way right the camera area anyway um, other options. You can use um, a, a safety pin um, a, or a bobbin uh, type of instrument. Um, you can use your uh, X-Acto knife maybe. But this, uh, with because of the round little ball and stuff, I'll show you how to do one. Let me, I'm gonna turn this on. I don't know if that makes it good or bad here. But I'm gonna draw a right into the clay. You wanna push right in there with firmness. He, my cat, and my, is playing with my dog. Uh, he runs and um, hits the doorknob so that Bella thinks somebody's trying to come in the house. See? So they're playing. <laughs> but as you see, okay, now I'm just using a little pe a petal. Oh, and what is good to have is a little brush. That way you can kind of see what's going on. And plus you want to, uh, you know, brush that clay that's in there out of there so that you can see the um, image. That's basically what I'm doing is I'm scratching in an image, just freehanding it. it I'm not trying to be perfect um, because it's not perfect, you know. So brush it off see what we there we go we got a flower can y'all see that and I'll go both ways because I'm not sure which way is good or bad for y'all let the camera adjust to it I'm not sure I wish y'all tell me in the comments what is good what's good for me is that to be on and I think it is to you because when I look up, it looks like I can see the the uh, flowers. Anyway, I'll do one more. And now here's some leaves that did come through that when I pressed. Here's a flower here 
that did come through. So all I'm going to do is go around it to make it a little deeper, you know, make it a little bit more pronounced. Oh, that's a, a cool print that came out. And one petal wasn't there, so I helped it out a little bit. Oh, isn't that pretty? So that's what you can do. Um, if you, you know, it could be leaves that you were wanting to put on here. Um, get you a tool, something sharp, whatever, you can carve right into it. Thank you for joining me. This is just a quick tips on how to carve into uh, air dry, porcelain air dry clay by Crayola, by the way. Um, inspirations go out to um, Red Rocking Bird. Thank you for watching. Oh, please subscribe. I hit the thumbs up if you like it. It helps my channel grow. Um, it does so much for me. A thumbs up if you like it. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you for joining me. Bye.